Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to sit here and chat with you guys. I've been wanting to do this video for literally for literally the longest time ever. Honestly, I am buzzing. So today I am gonna be doing you guys a really cool, fun Q&A where I answer everything all about all your inquiries all your questions about being a lash artist so i have um got qualified as a lash artist congratulations and um, i've started my own business and everything's going really really well but so many of you guys have asked me questions and wanted to know different things and all of that so stay tuned grab yourself a drink um i've got my water here to keep me going so yeah grab yourself a drink get cozy and let's get right in to the video okay so i asked you guys on instagram to send in your questions and all of you guys did so by the way if you're not following me on my instagram i definitely follow my instagram account um i've got my account and obviously i've got my lash um technician account my business account so follow them too support your girl and all of that good stuff um but yeah i'm gonna go in and answer some of your most requested questions i'm gonna elaborate and talk about being a lash artist and what it involves and like how to start your business do you need to be qualified like everything okay i'm gonna tell you guys the full tea the good the bad the interesting all of that good stuff so so the uh, most requested question was what made you get into um, doing lashes and being a lash artist and all of those? That's a really good question. So um, I've been uh, getting my lashes done um, for like years and years. I love getting my lash extensions done. I feel like it's so easy. You just wake up and you look like beautiful. You look like you're put together. You don't need much makeup. Um, you can let your skin like before i feel like like right now i haven't got my lash extensions on i've taken them off just like a couple of days ago just give my eyes a bit of a, a bit of a breather because i've been getting it done like literally back to back so um yeah like i feel like now now that i have to do my makeup it literally takes me a lot longer to get ready whereas when i had my lash extensions i literally just have my lash extensions on and then i'll, I'll be like good to go like i go out and stuff like without any foundation or nothing like that but now i feel like now because i have to do my makeup i have to pull like the whole shebang so it takes me a lot longer to get ready but um so yeah anyways i don't know where the hell i went with that but <laughs> to answer your question I just love getting my lash extensions done. I love like just seeing the before and after. So um, being a full-time YouTuber, blogger, I wanted to do something on the side because working from home can be quite lonely and you can get quite bored and uh, you just need, I just needed something to go into and I wanted to do something. I want to start my own business anyway. It's always been something that I've been wanting to do for so long, like run my own business. So, so yeah, um, I was thinking about what I should go into, what I had interest in. Like I love doing makeup, but like I swear every other person is like an MUA, like a makeup artist. So I was like, I don't want to be a makeup artist. So let me do something else. And I was like, oh my God, lash extensions, especially lash extensions is such a huge thing. It's been like so popular for like the last year or two. Like, I feel like lash extension existed a long time ago, but we only really got into it, especially here in the UK, um, like the last year or so. So yeah, that's something I wanted to jump onto. And I was like, oh my God, perfect. Cause I love to do my lashes anyways. So I, and I love the interaction you get speaking to the lash artist and um, it's like such a nice pamper session like you just lay there you just chill you just chit chat and then you're bam you wake up and your lashes are looking cute so that's what I really wanted to do so I thought why not get into it and yeah sorry about the sun by the way it keeps going in and out and the lighting is going all sorts of crazy so please excuse that so that's why I jumped into um, being a lash artist that's I know that was a really long answer, but that is the reason why I wanted to be a lash artist. Okay, so moving on. Okay, another question is, how did you train to be a lash artist and do you need to be trained? Um, yes, you do need to be on a course. You need to be qualified as a lash artist. It's so, so important. I know a lot of lash um, technician artists, they are self-qualified um, and that's such a bad thing like you you shouldn't be self-taught like it's very important to go onto a course and learn the ins and out because there's so much to it like i have learned a lot on my course like things that i never knew existed uh, stuff that i never knew getting my lashes done like i used to think to myself like oh my god my lashes are falling out wow the sun's out again i used to think like oh my god my lashes are falling out so quick why is it falling out this is this but being on a 
a course you learn why they fall out you learn what would prevent what will prevent your lashes falling out like like all of these stuff that you never thought existed exists okay and um, you have to learn about different eye shapes what lashes would suit which eye shape um, what can prevent like chemical burn like there's so much to it like honestly I was just blown away by how much I learned in like the two days I went so my course was two days by the way guys and I did two courses I, um, I got qualified in doing classic classic um, lash extensions and Russian so I did both courses and by the way if you're wondering hybrid is a mix of both so it's classic and hybrid mixed together that's what um hybrid is and uh, yeah so basically long story short um yeah what, did, what was the question again <laughs> wow my brain okay yeah so you guys asked it did you get trained to be lash artist yes 100 i got trained um i actually got trained in leicester um i just found someone um who did it through a friend and i saw it on her instagram stories and i was like okay I thought like literally all the courses are like in Birmingham or London or something like that, but I found someone in Leicester, so I was like perfect, convenient, and I jumped right into it and I did the course, so amazing. Okay, so another question is how much does um, the course um, cost? So I'm gonna be real with you, a lot of lash technicians don't really wanna tell the price or expose the price and all of that. You know, I'm not here to give you guys BS. I'm gonna tell you the whole shebang. So basically each, well, the course that I, I don't know about different like lash trainers or whatever, but the course that I went to and the trainer that I went to, um, the course I went, what am I even saying? The course that I went to, um, it was 250 pounds per course. So it was 250 for um, the classic and 250 for the um, Russians. So it, all together it was like 500 pounds for the course, which I thought wasn't bad at all because you get qualified, you, you get a certificate and then you can like straight get into it. Okay, actually before you get straight into it, and another thing that you should be very careful about um, before starting doing lashes. I think it's very, very important to be insured. It's very, very important to be insured, like just to cover your back, just in case anything happens to any of the clients or just anything, it's so important to be insured. So even if you're a MUA, you're a makeup artist or you're a hairstyle, like any business that you're, you're getting into, it's so important to um, have insurance to insure you, like very important. So um, I did my course, um, I got insured and then I started lashing like I would never lash before getting insured because Again, just to cover your back just in case anything happens and it's very very important to do it obviously by law like being legal and all that stuff Yeah, I hope that makes sense <laughs> Okay, another question is how long did it take you to be qualified and what course did you do? So again, um, I did two courses which is classic and Russians and how okay, you guys are gonna be shook it only took me like a day per course so it was like a nine to five um training and that was like for my classic and then another day um it was like a nine to five for my russian so literally all in all it was two days for my training which literally is crazy if you think about it like i never knew like i could get trained in two days which kind of blew my mind and i'm like how the hell you can get trained to be like a lash technician in two days but honestly 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 like when you finish your training it's so important to start being hands-on because you um in the, your training you are like you are hands-on you're like you are lashing on someone but it's so crucial to um, do your own work. So after your training, it's so important to like, maybe like grab a few friends or like family and just like start lashing on them because there's like so much to it. Like, you know, when you first get into it, like you have to hold the tweezers in a certain way. You don't just get any tweezers and just put like a lash on each lash. It doesn't work like that. It's so different. Like when I first went into it, I'll be honest with you guys. Um, after I did my training, I was like to my husband, like I, this is not for me. I do not want to do lash. <laughs> I do not want to do lashing at all. Like I, I just don't want to do it. But my husband's like, no, like you just need to keep on training and practicing and then you'll be fine. And I was just like, it's just not for me. It was so difficult. Like I found it so difficult to hold the tweezers in a certain way and in a certain angle. Oh, it was so much to it. It was very technical. And, uh, but honestly, practice, practice, practice. Like practice makes perfect. And that's something I inf like I, I couldn't emphasize anymore. Like I was just practicing on like my friends, like my family. And when I was actually really confident, that's when I first took my first client. And bear in mind when you do your first set of lashes, it's gonna take you a very long time. So, so bear that in mind. Have someone who's patient with you. Have someone who's very still. 
that's very important that's another tip I would give you guys when you first train and get someone well in general you need to have like someone who, like if your clients are like moving and stuff like tell them to like calm down and just like relax but um, especially when you're training like just have someone who's like patient with you willing to just lay there for a good couple of hours and you just do your training on them but it's so so important Okay, another question is actually really interesting. Hi Amina, working as a lash artist plus maintaining everything as a married woman, YouTube, how do you find it? Do you find it difficult? That's a very, very, very good question. So to answer the question, yes, I find it very difficult to have a balance because I'm doing so many different things in a day, it kind of blows my mind sometimes. Like sometimes by the end of the day, I'm like literally exhausted. Like I have no time to go like see my friends or my family. And like everyone's like, where the hell are you? Like, where have you been? But like, it's, it's so hard to have the full on balance. Like, it, like bear that in mind, it is quite full on because with a client, you're spending at least one and a half hours to two hours per client. So bear that in mind. Um, like it takes me like when I first started it took me like a good two hours two and a half hours per client but now that obviously I've been doing it for some time now it takes me roughly like one and a half hours to two hours max so uh, yeah it is time consuming you're spending that like a good few hours with that one person and imagine you're doing quite a few people in one day and then you have like obviously you have to like be a wife which I am a wife like obviously cook and keep a clean the house like keep like maintaining like a good um, surrounding and then obviously leave the time for like my YouTube side my blogging side going out taking pictures going out filming and like this there's so much to it. I feel like sometimes I, there's like not enough hours in the day and I'm like, what the hell? Like, please. Okay, another very, very important, I'm wearing my pajamas, by the way, if you're wondering. Like, I've got a nice top on here and then I'm wearing my pajama bottoms. How awkward, okay. Another very good question is, I heard by getting lash extensions, the eyelashes fall or become less after after some time is this correct so it all depends on how well you take care of your lashes so getting your lash extensions done um correctly will not damage your lashes whatsoever unless you're sitting there pulling on your lashes on your lashes and your lash extensions then of course that's going to make your lashes weaker it's going to break your lashes and of course that's going to make your lashes look like a lot shorter a lot less stronger but if you get your lashes done by a lash artist correctly it will not damage your lashes whatsoever that's very that's what i'm saying it's very very important to go to the right people that are qualified and um actually have a certificate because if you go to someone who's just self-taught i mean yeah the work might be good or may may look good but then they haven't got that basic knowledge like how to put on the lashes correctly or like what procedure like i think it's so so important to get your lashes done by um, a person who is qualified like just please bear that in mind guys it's so so important um, the next question is the riskiest or scariest thing that's happened to you as a lash technician so that's actually a very a very good question so um, I feel like it's always going to be a little bit nerve-wracking with every client because everyone's got different eyes everyone's got a different eye shape everyone's got like some people have like eye problems or they've got like infections in the eyes and like it's quite mucky sometimes uh, but everyone's different like every client you get is different like no two clients are the same like some people have like a full set of lashes so long so strong easy to work on and that the next person you get has like the shortest tiniest thinnest lashes and obviously it takes you a lot longer to work on but for me like I haven't had really any scary encounters touch wood alhamdulillah like never had any scary encounters but I feel like it's very very important to take your time with every client and work with every client because no two clients are the same like everyone's different everyone's eye shape is different everyone's eyes are different um so it's very important to know your client before lashing them ask them some questions I would say go through like a little kind of a Q&A thing with your client before you lash them or like a day before or like message them because like everyone's different everything like that's very very important to kind of know the background before um getting into it and also 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 make sure you guys um if you are a lash technician or you're thinking of being a lash technician make sure you do a patch test on every single client that you do because the last thing you want is a person having a reaction or like something happened to other eyes or anything like that so it's so important to do a patch test on every single client that you have it's very important if you're insured you would know that it's kind of in the rules that you have to do it anyways but just to cover your back again 
make sure you do a patch test on everyone. Another very, very important question to all my Muslim followers out there. I get this asked so, so much. Can we pray um, namaz with them? Um, as I've heard from most people that the namaz is not counted. So this is a very, like a tricky kind of, um, a difficult question. So it's kind of how it's debatable with the halal nail polish so many pe people believe that's not halal and like the nail the water doesn't touch your nails even though it does and like everyone has their own kind of um, belief but i have before going into this business a little background information for you guys before going into this business i got it confirmed by a big shake um, you guys must know him, Mufti the Sheikh, if you know him, you know him. But um, before going into this business, I got it confirmed by him and I asked him all these questions and we went through all of this together and I just discussed it and it was all clear that you can pray with the lash extensions on because you can still do your wudu and the water can touch your lashes but it also depends on what lashes you use. So if you use like, I know some lash technicians they will use like real hair which is kind of like compared to a wig and obviously wearing a wig in our religion is not allowed so obviously that's a no-no but it depends on what lashes you use. So I use mink lashes with my clients. I feel like it's the best lashes because like it feels like you've literally got nothing on. It feels so light. It doesn't feel heavy whatsoever and it feels so soft. It feels like your, your natural lashes but like obviously a lot more dramatic, a lot more thicker, longer, etc. So um, long story short, I got it confirmed um, before going into this business. Okay, so I'm going to take a few more questions and then leave it there because I feel, I feel like I've been talking for literally the longest time ever and I've given you guys some really good tips hopefully so i hope you guys like it um right what is the next question how long do they last again i answered it um depend actually it depends on every lash technician i had a few clients that came to me and said that the previous lash, lash technician that they went to literally took like two like took like three four hours and i was like what how does it take like three four hours unless like understand if you're training and stuff like when you're first starting out then it probably will take you a lot longer because obviously you're training and um but some people just really take the time and some people don't so for me it takes me like maximum two hours but it usually takes me one and a half hours to do a full set and for infills it takes me like 45 minutes a max to an hour but no longer than that okay another question another lovely question is what is your favorite um part of being a lash artist honestly i like honestly from the bottom of my heart it's just the interaction i love love and love the interaction i love speaking to actually i've had a few of you guys that came over to me which was lovely i love the interaction i love speaking to people i know some lash technicians like they just will not speak to you they'll just say okay lay down i've actually had this experience that's why i'm telling you guys this they'll just say lay uh, what was going on with my scarf they'll just say to you okay lay down and i'm just gonna do your work you can listen to me your own music and that's it and then they'll just like they won't speak to you for like the whole session i'm like how i've had this experience and honestly it was not nice because at that time i had no music on me or no headphones or nothing and i was just sitting there for like two and a half hours like when is this going to be done so um yeah, my favorite part of being a lash technician is the interaction. I love it. Like, honestly, I love speaking to you guys. I hear, like, so many different stories. So I hear different, like, honestly, I just love it. I love, love, love. And I love seeing the before and after. That's the best thing about it. The, the transition, the the before and after from like natural lashes to lash extensions like i love that so that's something that makes me very excited as well as the clients is very excited to see the lashes i'm as excited for them like i'm always saying to my clients like oh my god your lashes are looking amazing we're nearly there like um yeah like i always like interact like ask my clients questions like can you feel the lashes on you are you comfortable like i always have that interaction with them i'd never want them to feel like just out of place or feel like awkward about the whole situation because like I get like I mentioned I was there and I had a bad experience so as a um a, as a client um coming from the other end I know how it feels for my clients so I would never want them to feel the same as kind of what I've been through so yeah so another funny question is do your hands ache okay honestly the harsh reality of being a lash artist is that Firstly, your head will ache you, your eyes are straining, and yes, your back and your arms and your hands and everything hurts because, especially if you've been doing like quite a few clients on that specific day, yes, 
it hurts. I am not gonna say it doesn't because it really does. And especially when you first get qualified and you start like training and you start like clashing on people, your hands will literally hurt you so much because like you have to hold the tweezers in like a very specific way that your hands ache, like ache. But now like because I'm so used to it, I just get right into it and I'm absolutely fine, alhamdulillah. But yeah, like your back does ache because you're leaning on the client. So yeah, your eye strain because you have that light, like with that very, I use a very big white um, light because I want it to be like very, very light so I can see what I'm doing, which is very important as well. Um, so yeah, like I would say my eye strain and my hands sometimes ache if I've got quite a few clients. But if I've got like one or two, then no, I'm absolutely fine. But if I do like four clients in one day, then yes, absolutely. Can you wear eye makeup? Okay, I am gonna end it on this one and um, this question, this is a very 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 important um, question so I have clients who um, get the lash extensions done by me and when I'm lashing them I'll always give them a few tips um, a few tips here and there about how to keep the lashes lasting longer what to prevent when you have any lash extensions on this is this so first and foremost I mean absolutely fine if you wanted to wear makeup if you have to wear makeup then it's up to you, no one's saying to you, you're not to. But it'll just make your lashes fall out a lot quicker than it usually would last. So lash extensions, you normally last four to six weeks with a regular infill every two to three weeks, I would say. But um, if you wear anything that has oil in, like if you've got your lash extensions on and then you decide to wear eyeliner and mascara over it, yes, your lashes are gonna fall out a lot quicker because it just makes the glue that's holding your lashes a lot weaker therefore your lashes fall out a lot quicker so if you are thinking of getting your lash extensions done try to prevent using anything that has oil anything that's oil based whether it be eyeliner mascara and um, what else has oil based like eye creams try to prevent that um, I know it's hard because obviously like I swear by eye creams and I love eye creams but if you maybe just tap it underneath your eyes rather than going over on your eyelids and stuff like that that would be very beneficial but yeah try to do a few bits and uh, bobs like that like even like saunas, um, hot showers, like steamy rooms can really like make your lashes a lot weaker and make them fall out a lot quicker. So yeah guys, I think I've covered quite a lot in this video. This video is so long, but I feel like I, um, I covered quite a lot and I've answered all of you guys' questions. So I hope this video was beneficial for you guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys give me a massive thumbs up. And by all means, if you guys have any more questions or inquiries about lash um about lashing or being a lash artist please um message me down below leave your comments leave your questions and if you guys really enjoy this video i will do a part two answering your questions because i actually really enjoy doing this because it's something i'm very passionate about i love lashing i just love getting my lashes done and i love lashing and i love getting my lash on so on all of that so i actually really enjoyed it so i hope you guys did too and i shall see you guys really really soon in my next video i love you all so so much and bye okay yeah that's it bye <laughs>